All week, we've been telling you about the Joy Reid you never knew. The rigidly progressive, race-hustling MSNBC anchor once had very different views, and they've been revealed by newly discovered excerpts from her long-defunct blog. For example, Reid once complained that immigrants were taking American jobs. Imagine that. She described Lou Dobbs, our friend Lou Dobbs, as her ideological twin on immigration. She told Democrats to spend less time attacking white people, amazingly. She also compared John McCain to the Virginia Tech shooter, and she spread 9-11 conspiracy theories. Well, in April, she commented on some of those blog posts. Watch. I spent a lot of time trying to make sense of these posts. I hired cybersecurity experts to see if somebody had manipulated my words or my former blog. And the reality is they have not been able to prove it. But here's what I know. I genuinely do not believe I wrote those hateful things. Well, we assumed that Reid would once again continue to blame these new set of opinions on a mysterious fake hacker, because as you just saw, she's done it before. But no, this time she admitted the truth and said she's sorry. So good for her. It's better not to lie so much. But there's at least one outstanding question here, a question that hangs in the air. Whatever happened to that FBI investigation that Joy Reid and NBC News ordered up when they were still pretending that the blog posts weren't real and were committed by maybe Vladimir Putin? Is that FBI investigation still ongoing? And what's the penalty for using federal law enforcement to perpetuate a hoax? And how much did it cost? And is NBC News going to pay back American taxpayers? Huh. Joining us now is a man who's considered these questions, Larry O'Connor, associate editor of The Washington Times. So, Larry, this is a real qu question. And by the way, again, I just want to say good for Joy Reid for telling the truth. It's always good to tell the truth. A little late. But they did order up this FBI investigation and NBC stood behind it. Yep. Are you allowed to do that in perpetuation of a hoax, which is what they did? Last I checked, not so much. And I actually checked with a couple of the former Department of Justice officials, and they said, no, that's actually kind of a federal crime, making a knowing false report to the FBI. Uh, and, and no one knows how much of our government resources have been spent on investigating a hoax. Uh, now that the FBI isn't spending so much time investigating political opponents of Barack Obama, uh, one thinks that they, they actually would like to chase down some serious crimes and not just Joy Reid's fantasies uh, at, to cover her own butt, by the way. And that's let's let's be clear here. Her lies and which were reinforced by her network, NBC, they were all to just cover her up. It was to make her look good. It was just to protect her job. And apparently she didn't have to because NBC is going to stand by her no matter what. Yeah. And by the way, I'm all for networks standing by their anchors, I should just say. Well, and I also I, think that most good. people are decent and forgiving. And I think that if you say, you know, I'm sorry I said that or my views have changed, I think most people think that's okay. I certainly think it's okay. What's not okay is to waste our time and the resources of federal law enforcement perpetuating a lie. Now, no one who does that, and there are a lot of people who do that, by the way, a lot of fake hate crimes, for example, they're never prosecuted. And she won't be prosecuted. But shouldn't NBC have to repay that money? Why, oh, why do they get a pass on this? I would think so. And I think also, I mean, listen, I, I understand, and I'm all for radio networks uh, forgiving their <laughs> and not firing yes, their employees, exactly. too, while we're at it. Let's have that on the record. But I do think NBC has to answer for a couple of things here, because they were part of this, Tucker. They circulated this report from Joy Reid's expert, the cybersecurity expert, that yeah. said that she had been hacked. That damages their brand, because they're in the business of fact-checking everybody they disagree with. Well, well, it's time for them to actually come clean a little bit and say, yeah, this was all bogus. It was wrong. There needs to be some transparency there. And yes, you're right. At the very least, whatever this ended up costing the federal government, NBC, Comcast, Universal, they should repay that money. Well, I mean, they're liars. We know they're liars. They leaked the excess Hollywood tape to the Washington Post. We know that. Everyone who works at NBC knows yep. that, and they did it for political reasons, and they've never admitted that. Right. So they were going they to do this? a, but I hope a they do. thorough investigation into that, though, Tucker. I remember they made a lot, <laughs> yeah, of, just a lot of noise about that thorough investigation. Still trying to find the real killer, Larry. That's right. Larry, thanks for coming on Friday night. Good to see <laughs> thanks, you. Thanks, Tucker. You too.